I'm joined now by the CEO of the Trade Desk, Jeff Green. Jeff, thanks so much for being here today. Oh, thank you. The Trade Desk um, helps various brands and agencies target and deliver ads basically across the internet, everything from connected TVs to mobile advertising and to ads on the likes of Walmart. So give us a sense from your perspective, what are you seeing in the overall ad ecosystem? Is there a contraction? Uh, well, so across the entire ecosystem today, there is more opportunity than there has ever been before. It's actually, I think, the best time ever to be in internet advertising. And it's largely because things like uh, connected television have really come online uh, during the pandemic, but then that's become much more ad fueled. Uh, and then there's all these opportunities coming around retail where we've created all these partnerships with companies like Walgreens and Albertsons and Dollar General and Kroger and so many others uh, uh, to provide uh, data end to end so people know what advertising is working. It's, there's just so much going on. So part of your approach is this idea of a unified ID. So you could target ads and track their impact. You just announced that Walmart is on board. Um, you also just announced a deal with Warner Brothers Discovery. What is happening with the growth of this unified ID and how is that helping your business? Yeah, so uh, um, what advertisers really want to do is bring their data to the table so that they can make better decisions about who to advertise to. Uh, so especially if you have uh, uh, data about the customers that have already bought your product, you want to look for people in the world that look similar to them in terms of their interests and, and, and likes and preferences so that you can use your ad dollars more efficiently. In order to do that, you need a currency, uh, uh, an identity currency to know where the users are. Uh, uh, and so Unified ID makes it so that companies like Warner Brothers or like Disney or like even companies like Snowflake or Amazon uh, can take the logins that they have and put those to work or enable companies that, that use their platforms like in Snowflake and Amazon's case in AWS so that they can uh, empower their customers who have data to use with with, with logins or email addresses or phone numbers. And so you just announced a new version of this for the EU. Um, there is a, a, a big sense that the EU is really going to crack down on anything that is violating privacy. There, there, there's a push for the EU to crack down on Google's uh, practices. Um, and there was also a big lawsuit just filed by Gannett um, alleging that Google has anti-competitive practices. Google is your main competitor. That's right. What does this regulatory crackdown in this lawsuit from Gannett mean for you? Yeah, so uh, uh, so of course there's there's always lots of people looking in, in at, at privacy and making certain that everybody's uh, doing the right thing. We're very excited about the opportunity that creates for us to do the right thing uh, for advertisers, brands, and for publishers. But then separate from privacy concerns, uh, uh, which have often been something that Google's under a lot of scrutiny for and has lost lawsuits over. Uh, uh, there are also uh, um, antitrust lawsuits from the European Commission, from the Department of Justice, from the Texas Attorney General, and then yesterday, a lawsuit filed by Gannett. And I think this is really significant. Uh, uh, while it, it, they don't necessarily have the same leverage against Google that the Department of Justice or the European Commission has, I do think somebody who's financially dependent on Google filing a lawsuit, despite their financial dependence, saying that their practices are not fair, speaks to the government's case against Google, and I think shows a very significant, strong opinion from a publisher saying that the marketplace isn't fair and it needs to be fair.